Okay, so today we're going to create a format using some parameters in PTC Creo. Also, we're going to try out this webcam thing in the bottom corner. Very fancy. So, easiest way to do this, Creo comes with some standard formats. So, if we hit the open, and I know I'm already in a folder here, but if we hit open, and then over on the left here, we'll see a folder called system formats if we haven't customized what shows up in our common folder so if I click system formats I'll get a bunch of standard formats that Creo gives you um, but they won't have any of the parameters in there um, so we'll have to either type the text in or add those and save them as a new format so we're just going to create a new format but we'll use these as a starting point so we'll start with uh, the a size I'll double click it to open it up. And now that it's open, I can just have to delete this old format here or this old title block here. By going up to the top, these different tabs work as a filter system. So if I go to sketch, I'll be able to pick these different lines. So I'm just going to draw a window, getting just the title block lines and hitting delete on my keyboard. Then I'm going to do the same with the rev block up here. And hit delete on my keyboard. And if I wanted to, I could delete this, but this is really, we could put other text in there if we wanted. Um, but for the sake of cleaning it up and creating tables, we'll delete that too. So now that all that's done, we just have this nice border. That's eight and a half by 11 like an A size is. <clears throat> And we can now go back up to the table tab up here. And what I'm going to do, I have a, a little border on the side here for a little guide. Um, I'm going to create <coughs> the table that I need. So the table I have here has, let's see, two units to six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six down. And then I need 12 across, so we'll see if I can get to 12 here. I can only get to 10, that's okay. That'll give me an opportunity to show how to add a column. So I'll pick that, super big, and I'll place it. You can see I've got this huge table here. Okay, so one thing you can do once you have a table is you can right click, and you can see, I'll unselect it so you can see a little better, when you right click, it cycles through, and this works in anything in Creo, it cycles through the things that you could pick in that area of the screen. I can also hold right click, go to pick from list. I could pick row, whole, the whole cell, the table, column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all these columns to be a certain width. I think it'll let me do that by editing the whole table okay and the way i did that was oops, is i right clicked until it selected the whole table then i left pick to select it now i can go height and width and for my columns i just want them to be for now just one character which will bring them down nice and skinny like that okay so i can edit them a little later okay so I hit OK, now my table updates, and then I just need to pick anything on the table. It'll highlight it, I can grab a little corner, drag it around where I want to. Okay, so <clears throat> now that my table is a little bit easier to work with, looking at my table I have that I'm going off of, what I know is the far left column needs to be a little wider. So I need to grab this column. I did the same thing right picking, or you could have done a hold right pick and do a pick from list. But basically I just want the column. And then I can hold right click and I can go to width. And I can say my width in characters is gonna be 16. And I can hit okay or preview. Preview will show me before I hit okay. I'm just gonna hit okay. 
So now I have that. That looks a lot better. Now the other thing I notice is that on my table, each of these <clears throat> columns is actually about two wide. Okay. But first what I'll do is I'll add the columns I needed. All right. So I needed 12. I only created 10. So I can pick add column up here. And I can click on this far right line. It'll add another column. Click it again. Add another column. Okay. Actually, now that I have those two columns, I think that's really what I need. One may get it. I may be able to get away with that. So from here, I've got my table. And now all I really have left to do is do some merging. Um, now, one thing I did do in this is I made this one row a little taller. And I'll show you how to do that. So if I right click till it highlights the row, and I left pick to select it, I can now right pick and go to height. And I could say, well, I don't want automatic height adjustment. I want this to be two. And when I hit OK, it gets taller, just like we wanted. Now, the other thing I like to do once I have the table the right size is I zoom in on this corner. And yeah, there's other ways I can do this. But what I like to do is I zoom in on the corner. And I get it so those two show up as pink, which tells me they're pretty darn close to lining up. You could keep zooming in and doing this forever if you want to make a game out of it. Not really useful, but basically I'm just lining it up with that corner. Okay. If I was creating this from scratch, I may create this whole thing as a table. And then that way I could snap right to that corner right there on the corner. But this works just as well. All right, now from here, <clears throat> because I already know my guide, I'm going to show you how I'm going to merge these cells. So I'm going to merge cells. And I'm going to leave it on rows and columns because I'm going to merge both at the same time at some points. And my first one's going to be from here. It works just like Microsoft Excel to the second row down here. And you can see when I click that, it makes it one big box. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same with this one. But this time I'm going to go from here. To this box okay now for these bottom ones these are a little different this one's gonna stay alone this one's gonna be five wide so from here four five and then this one's gonna be four wide from here to here this one down here is gonna be four wide you'll see why in a bit once we fill them in and then this last one's going to be the full rest of the width here, from there to there. All right. Now for these, I'm going to have a line here, a line here, two here. And the top three is going to be one big box. So I'm, I can go from the top to there. And now I've got my full table set up. Now to get out of that, I can just middle click a couple times. Just like anywhere in Creo, I'm going to clear it out. Now from here, I want to stay in this table tab. Did you notice if I switch to layout? It doesn't highlight anything. So I want to stay there to create my text. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the text I need, and then I'm going to format it to fit. So this one, because the school that I teach at and the um, lesson here is for a school called McCann, this is going to say McCann CAD Department. Okay. Now for this next one, this is going to be where my title is going to appear. So I'm going to create some parameters here. When I create a parameter, I'm going to put in that uh, and, and then in lowercase, title underscore line one. And in my part, I'm going to create a parameter with that exact text. The next one's going to be title line two. Okay, and if I wanted a third line, I could do that. All right, and then I'm going to middle click to say I'm done. Here, this is an A size format, so I'm just going to put a capital A. Here, I'm going to put scale, but then with a colon, I'm going to put and scale. Okay? I may have to shrink that to fit a little bit better. Over here, and and scale, by the way, will automatically bring in the scale that you have at the bottom of your sheet down here. And I'm going to have and drawing name. Here I'm going to have rev, and I'm definitely going to shrink that later. And that's going to say and rev. 
and I can see that my column here is resizing automatically. So I'm just going to change that height to just be one because I'm going to shrink down the rev after. Okay, we're getting there. It's starting to look a little confusing. Now we'll work our way down and then to the left. So up here, this is going to be my material box. I'm going to put material. And then lowercase and material underscore line one. And if the material just said aluminum, all this text is going to be replaced with aluminum with material above it. And material line two. So usually we need to specify what type of material it is. <clears throat> next, I'll go down here. Next assembly. Always important to say where the part assembles to or where the subassembly assembles to. Okay, next assembly will be my parameter. Anything lowercase is a parameter here. And drawn by, that's where I'm going to fill in my name if I make the drawing. And drawn date. And over here, I like to put CAD file. And then for the parameter, and model name. Oop, did an lowercase. Okay, and then over here is going to be my sheets. So I'm going to put in capital sheet, space, and current sheet of and total sheets okay and now you can see a lot of this text is too big the first thing i like to do is i highlight the whole table i hold right click i go to text style and i make all this text centered and in the middle when i apply now it's going to look a little bit better okay still not great but it looks better now from here, what I can do is I can edit these individually to make sure that they fit properly. Now what I see is that all these are a little bit too big. All right. So the rev, for example, I'll edit the textile manually there. And let's see what we want to change it to. Let's see what point one looks like. A little better. Probably a little bit smaller would be better. 0.08. Look at that. that looks pretty good because Rev is just going to have one or two letters here, depending on how many revisions. So that, that'll probably work, even though it looks a little crowded with the parameter. All right, now for the rest of these, this one definitely needs to shrink down. Okay. So I can shrink this one down. Maybe what I'll do is actually shrink... all of these other ones down other than the title and the department try point one two that looks pretty good it looks like everything's going to fit pretty darn well in there um with that i mean right here looks crowded but keep in mind total sheets is going to be a single digit or maybe a couple a double digit number and current sheet is going to be a single digit number so from here, I've really completed my whole title block, all right? And in another video, I'll show you how to actually add those parameters and then how to actually add this format in afterwards. So from here, what I can do is copy this title block and paste it into other formats um, over and over again, all right? So I'm going to save my format. File. Really should have done this from the beginning. That's okay. I'm going to create a little folder called format. Save it as a size. And hit okay. 